And welcome back. This is Kota. I hope you're having a good week. It is Friday, and we have a UEC. This is server 2. We currently have a server pop of 54, 78 on the attacking CSA, and 76 on the defending Union. And we'll see if I got the settings here that this can actually be in 2K. We'll see if this works. If not, it'll be, uh, just blame me. Alright, so starting out on the CSA team here, they have the 52nd New York, joined by SR as well, under Lieutenant <laughs> O'Keefe. Then we've got LFL under Hookah, major type. We've got the 6th Texas under Captain Russo. Let's see, then we've got LFL, a couple gunners here under Forbin and Tells. Did I miss anybody? I don't... It feels like I'm missing people. In English, please. Nope, that's it. Three companies. Okay. No English. No hablo inglés. No hablo español. Alright, on the other team, we've got uh, A&V led by Colonel Killer. Joined by Captain Perkins, who's an arty guy. And... 56 VA, led by Captain Slaughter. Company. And we've got yeah, Alabama German Legion joining in with them, it looks like. And then we've got 4th Georgia here, led by 1st Sergeant Dora. And I believe that is everyone. Yes, indeed. That is, by the way, CSA spawn. CSA already is over there, but it looks like their intent is to capture Union already and take those positions. As you can see, Union already actually kind of extends all the way down here. Point of contention is right there, and then Union spawn is all the way back there. So we are live at 40, and off we go. Start, and I'm already thirsty. Agua. By the way, this game is called War of Rights. It is a Civil War first-person shooter. Everyone on this uh, map here is an individual player. Um, it is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. Um, while I'd recommend it, I would just be hesitant about what servers you join into. Uh, many of the public servers are not well cared for. Some are, some aren't. Thankfully, this is a private event, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, Language, that kind of stuff, can get uh, very toxic very quickly. Um, especially racial slurs, unsurprisingly. Oh, kind of surprisingly. But thankfully, I don't have to deal with that here, because this is the European Union, at the European Community event, and it is heavily moderated. You deal with that stuff very quickly and very easily. And the UEC occurs every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT. A link is in the uh, description if you are interested in signing your unit up for it. Looks like the CSA is moving out forward here, and the Union is going to do a bit of a forward defense as well. By the way, I have also left uh, links in the description to all these unit Discord and other recruiting uh, functions. So if you're interested in looking for units and you see one that you like... Uh, feel free to uh, visit their recruiting site and uh, join up. You too can participate in the event. Right turn, hold. Right turn. Fiber company, make ready. Ready. Commence firing. Good job here by 52nd trying to get into a bit of a covered position. You can see the CSA is mostly on this side, their left. Uh, while the Union is more on their left, so a little bit of a mismatch here. There is one Union unit all the way down here, and that is the Spanish 6 Texas here. Looks like the Union's moving up to uh, get some fire in as well. On the CSA that's over here. <laughs> that's not really a fucking challenge, let's be honest. <laughs> and it looks like First Sergeant Dora is going to rotate to try to deal with the six Texas boys. Meanwhile, Killer is going to try to readjust his column to deal with this uh, pretty heavy force here, which is the 52nd, which has moved up. Oh, nice volley there from the A and B. Yeah, you got to get back after a shot like that. 
Take cover at the case. Right, let's swing back over. It's like long distance shooting otherwise, but yeah, the CSA has won that initial gunfight. Big 52nd got a little bit too ambitious there. Aim V uh, showed them to, uh, nope. Don't underestimate us. By the way, if you guys are liking this video and want to support the channel, you know, I always appreciating likes, subscribes, comments, shares, all that fun stuff, help the channel grow. Let's check the top of the hill, see if we get any action going on over here. Looks like we got the 56 paired up with elements of the AGL. And Perkins is waiting to get up to that already. Geladen, Tressen. Damn, trees in my way. For nothing too... Oh, we got a forward movement here. Who is this? O'Keefe is going to try to outflank the A and V here. Will this work? Oh, I don't know. I think the A and V got the uh, jump on them there. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hell. Oh, and A and V charges in. Good job here by the A and V. And that flag, you need to get out of there, buddy. It's time to run. Try to get back to your friends, buddy. Oh, you say I did. We have CSA. Hold here, hold here, hold here. And a wonderful defense there by the A and V and Colonel Killer. Good job by the flag. Got out of there in time. He's going to retreat back to the friendly line of the LFL and Major Hookah. But um, nice win there from the CSA. I, I would advise doing a forward attack now. You destroyed a unit, you have a temporary advantage, but that's not going to last for long. And indeed, we have some maneuvering out here. Who is this? Killer is going to move out. And maybe he's going to try to wipe out the 6 Texas, which is back here. We'll see. They are actually, this is... We'll see where Killer goes. He might be able to come up and cut off the 6 Texas here. Who's focusing on the 4th Georgia here. We'll see if this little flank maneuver works out. Oh, no, Kill is not going that way. He's, where's he going? He's looking at a cannon. Even better, shoot somebody important. Yeah. Hey, Killer, send uh, three or four of us with buck and ball up there. We'll wipe them. We're not allowed to. What? This is war. Oh, this is war with rules. Yeah, with rules of engagement. That is true. Welcome to the European war, gentlemen. Right, there will be no... F Everybody... Uh, the wheel in the cannon, the wheel in the cannon to the crest. Everybody take it in. Straight in take front. Right in front of you, boys. Northwest. Fuck! Oh, push the cannon, push the cannon. On the east. Five for right. Five for right. 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 Company into line. Oh, I should not do this. Stop wasting your pistol bullets. No. They're expensive. I need to die. I got one, I got one! Independent fire doesn't. Independent. Aim low. Shoot him down, boys. We'll be one teacher not to fight up. Fuck him up, keep it up. Mow that grass. Oh my oh. god. I think they just blasted their own guys. No, they blasted the left side of my line. Oh shit. Alright, let's take him off that cannon. Oh, I mean, you, you should have done that before, to be honest with you, mate. You, you wait for them to get that kind of shot on you. Two units on the right flank. Thank you. Uh, I think you'd be better off dealing with six Texas over here, killer. Yeah, leaving that cannon alone. That's just my view. 
EGL still kind of hanging back here. Although even with this, you know, looking at the time here, Union has lost a lot of tickets here, and a lot of that has been the A, a and V has been doing a lot. But oh, wait a second! Here comes the LFL. They are going to try to ambush Killer here. We'll see if he can. Once more, very disciplined fire here from the A and B, and they have picked apart this LFL attack here. Oh, but their nemesis is back. Oh, but wait a second, here comes the 52nd. They're going to try their luck. Oh, but A and V is holding strong against them, too. What can stop them? Maybe this cannon right here. Oh, you load the cannon before you move it up, gentlemen. Oh, we got an attack by the 6th Texas against Fort Georgia here. Let's see how this goes. Oh, your kind are not welcome here, demons. Run, you coward! Run! I want your spines! And I, I think they're all dead. So uh, the Fort Georgia has won that attack and has now opened up the flank. Oh, we've got another attack developing here. AGL is now pushing up. Along with the 56, and oh, now Mr. Perkins has his cannons. Oh, Lord. And not only that, look at this. A and V is coming around the corner. This might be it for the Union here. A couple successive little uh, maneuvers here. Basically wiped it out here. CSA with plenty of time and plenty of tickets now. And we'll see what Killer thinks of doing. He might come around here and just wipe these forces right here. I don't know if he knows they're there or not. Oh, he's going to shoot these poor gentlemen. You let one go, Killer. You let one live. You let one live. Mr. Ampling, you let him get away so that he could tell the story of a day he met the A and V. I know what you're doing. I know, A, A and V, I know what you're doing. And this is what Mr. Perkins here and his team have been waiting on. Uh, they're still trying to get that set here. This looks like Kill is going to move forward and camp the flag here, but then we have another forward movement here by the LFL. Fort George is still over there. I guess they're wondering for who his next target is, but there's only three units, so it's a little bit of a smaller engagement. This is a better positioning by LFL, so they're not as vulnerable to the cannons. But, um... They're very vulnerable to this, which is Killer flanking around them. And if he can cut them off from Maine, this could be a, a very bad sandwich here. Okay, Killer likes to hit you from behind. He likes to shoot you from behind. I don't know why, but it's just a thing I've noticed. Follow up to my left. To my left, independent fire. Independent fire. Charge him out. Charge him out. Charge him out. Let's go. Charge. And there it is. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Get there, boys. Get some blood. And who was this? This was the 52nd New York that got hit. And they are wiped out here. And they're going to get up to the Artie as well. Meanwhile, the LFL had attempted to charge forward here against the AGL, but that had failed. Uka is the last man alive. He's going to run away. But where is he going to go? Uka, where are you going to go? Ah, it's just one more. He don't care. He's going to keep running. You can't stop Hookah. Look at that. Running through enemy lines. Who is that? Um... Captain uh... Spears. Yeah, he's Spears there. From Brandon, you know, Band of Brothers there. Running right through the line, coming all the way back. 
Easy attack, forward. All right, back here. All right, you guys are all dead. All right, you're back. All right, let's do it again. Yeah, CSA is really dominating this round here. They've almost got the uh, got a full morale state above the Union here. And they got them close to now engage. And got another engagement happening here. Oh. And excuse me for a moment. Okay, dis-moi quand t'es prêt. Ah, je suis prêt. Vas-y, feu. Ah, attends, j'ai des espagnols. Ah, ouais, ouais, y'a espagnol qui vient de passer devant. Dès que tu vois que c'est clair, Putain, faut qu'il arrête de zigzaguer devant le canon comme ça. Ouais, y'a une autre unité qui arrive sur la gauche un peu. Ok, les gars, on prend le pour essayer juste là. Ah, c'est compliqué là, ouais. Ouais, attends. C'est loin d'eux, hein. peux... même... je suis pas sûr que ce soit sur eux là. Ah, sorry about that. Pour moi, t'es un peu. Corte en recarga, reformamos. Corte en recarga, retira ahora. Vámonos. Corte en recarga. Ahora por aquí están. Están aquí. Uh, rumbo, rumbo, rumbo sureste, rumbo sureste. Están ahí. Oh, that was good. That was good. Reload, chaps, reload. Right, now that flag is moved to the left, just under the... Oh, we got a forward movement here. Here comes Slaughter with the 56. But he's gonna run into also the LFL over here. Oh man, and all, you had A and B do the other attack here, and this is going to be a complete way. It's even on soldiers. And there we go, that attack with A and B wiped out the rest of it. You got a leftover force here with 52nd. Uh, we'll see if they can hold this line here, or the CSA will just fall back. Now they did cap, but they did cap at taking losses. Uh, so the Union's got seven minutes now to recap and regain these tickets. We'll see if they can do it. So far, it's not looking great. Double lines, form double lines. By the way, this is the 52nd New York. They are a German uh, primary speaking language, although they do English as well. Um, Andrew Waltz, for example, here, he's very involved. Very involved. He's a scriptwriter for the uh, reenactment events for anybody that watches those. Um, a very um, disciplined unit. They, uh, they're kind of they're small, but uh, they have very, usually very good leaders here. Um, and they think very strategically, so. If you're looking for that kind of a unit, I highly recommend uh, taking a look at the 52nd New York. And in fact, they were able to ambush the 4th Georgia here as they were coming up on the burn. They are also joined by SR. Um, SR is the Shenandoah Regulars. They are led by Mr. Targray. Um, they, he has probably one of the most uh, hi highest... Uh, there he is. One of the most uh, experienced in the game of anybody in here. So, And he also plays... Probably the most defense out of any regiment out there, so you know, you could also take a look at his regiment. Um, if you're looking, you know, they any time of day you'll find him and his guys, you know, usually in an event. Um, so enemy east, northeast, EU, NA, whatever, they'll play whatever, whatever. Don't peek a boo 52nd. 
52nd mostly plays in the UEC. I don't think I see them in too many other events. Come on, Rebel. Come on, show your face. We got something for you. Ich nur sagen, die Art die steht hinter uns. Oh, 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 now this one over here is the 4th Georgians. Um, they play, they are an EU main regiment, although I think I've seen them in, well, they're in multiple events. They're in this every Friday UEC. Um, I believe they're part of Grand Campaign on Saturdays and HRE on Sundays. I don't know if there's other events they do on the NA side. I, I'm not recalling anyway, but any of them, but they are very active on the EU side. Uh, they got a lot of colorful characters, a lot of different leaders. Uh, Fuji Film, you will always like one of those guys I always like hearing on the uh, field, Mr. Fuji Film, who is very interested in spines at the moment. So, they are a primary English speaking language uh, regiment. So, again, there's links in the description to these uh, units' discords if you want to get them right. Weiter rechts, weiter rechts, weiter rechts, Right, let's see what else we got here. Only three minutes thirty left. So you say Union's got to think about attacking pretty soon here. Messieurs, bien en avant. chicos, bien, bien. Recarguen, va. Una línea de base muy sólida. Está preparando un cañón, vamos. Venga, rápido. Una línea muy sólida. ¿Dónde está nuestra bandera? Creo que es esa la de la izquierda. Oh, mierda. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Why? Why? Why, why would you do that to the Six Texas, Mr. Perkins? Why, why would you do that? Why, why, would, why would you do that? That was just me, Mr. Perkins. Look what he did to poor Six Texas. Yeah, at this point, the Union really doesn't have much left here, and they're really running out of time here. Uh, you can kind of see, here's the point of contention. They're kind of bottled up here by the CSA. Um, you know, they're trying to do the shootout here. You're not going to win this shootout. Especially not with Mr. Perkins on these guns here. So, you got to think of a new maneuver. If I was them, I think the weak point is back here and try to fight over here and kind of make it a fight in this center position. Good shot, good shot, good shot, VA. But, um, they've only got two minutes to pull this attack off if they do launch an attack. They could also try to go straight in, but, um, the, the, we've seen them do frontal attacks against A and B a few times this uh, game, and it has not worked out well. They need a charge soon, boys. Get ready, get ready. Look at that canister, but it's done. Uh, oh, here comes a spoiling attack by the A and V. Coming up here, knocking down their flags, knocking down their officers. Get them to waste their shots here instead of going for the point. Good initiative here by Mr. Killer and the A and V. They know. I don't care what you heard. They know. I'm not talking about a game. I'm talking so about practice. But Honestly, why do we even carry guns? We should just get a spare ammunition for killer. Yeah, everybody gets like a yeah, you can see this force over here has been completely disrupted here by killer's maneuver. There's only 30 seconds left, so. This is it for the Union. I would launch a full attack as a CSA just to keep them off point, but you don't even really need to do that. The Union still hasn't launched an attack yet. This They've just allowed the CSA to have their way with them, frankly. I can't get back down. 
GG's. Fine, die kommen jetzt von rechts. And that's it. Uh, wasn't even really a match, to be honest with you. CSA just kind of manhandled them. And that came down to, in my opinion, superior unit tactics. The uh, CSA units performed very well. Um, very disciplined fire, taking key positions, waiting for the attacks and charging again when they had the advantage. Um, so really good play by the CSA. Union uh, never really showed any kind of... Uh, I mean, they, had, they showed initiative, but it you know, was always kind of answered by... Uh, my tactical victories from the other CSA units they were engaging, so. Um, yeah, a fight for them. And, uh, yep. Hope you guys enjoyed. We got one more. I forget what map it is. I'll, I'll look it up. I will see y'all in the next one. I think it's another skirmish map. I think it's, it looks a little pop. Reno's Fall. Okay, that's what it is. Seven analytes.